August 25th, 2015, Reddit user Search and Rescue Woods would post a story that sparked an entire phenomenon. Mysterious sets of stairs popping up all over in random places in the woods. Now, as soon as the post made its way to Reddit fame, other users quickly began jumping in, adding in their own user stories, quickly giving credence to this mysterious phenomenon. But is it legit or all a hoax? Let's find out. The story of the mysterious stairs in the woods has become sort of an internet legend by now and has been shared by numerous websites and forums like Reddit among other popular websites with the original post reading this part. Now, I don't know if this is true in every SR unit, but in mine, it's sort of an unspoken regular thing we run into. You can try asking about it with other SAR officers, but even if they know what you're talking about, they probably won't say anything about it. We've been told not to talk about it by our supervisors, and at this point, we've all gotten so used to it that it doesn't even seem weird anymore. On just about every case where we're really far into the wilderness, I'm talking 30 or 40 miles, at some point we'll find a staircase in the middle of the woods. It's almost like if you took the stairs in your house, cut them out, and put them in the forest. I asked about it the first time I saw them, and the other officer just told me not to worry about it, that it was normal. Everyone I asked said the same thing. I wanted to go check them out, but I was told very emphatically that I should never go near any of them. This post alone birthed the start of what would become known as the mysterious stairs in the woods. And in response to this post, many others quickly chimed in and added their own stories, even from around the world. One anonymous user said this, An hour east of Ironwood, there is a clearing in the forest that has stairs. I was hiking and exploring with my cousins, and we stumbled on a clearing about half a football field long. Had a few staircases, but not against trees, just standing in the open. They looked like stairs from a normal suburban home, kind of old though. The older cousin decided to investigate. He walked to the stairs to see how they were being held up, but couldn't find anything which weirded him out. He made us all leave. Grass did not grow near the stairs either. Another user had this to say. A few months back, we went hiking. Nothing big, just a walk and a picnic in some woods. With us were my niece and nephew, who are both quite young. So I joined them in a hide-and-seek while the proper grown-ups had coffee and whatnot. Me and my nephew were first to hide, but we split up, and I ran alone quite a ways into a thicket of woods. And I found a staircase. Nothing remarkable, riddled with moss and made what looked like really old concrete with large pebbles of rocks in it. It didn't really seem out of place at the time, but thinking back, anyway, I decided it was fit for a hiding place but after only a few seconds of squatting behind it, I got up and stepped back. I couldn't shake the feeling that I really shouldn't be anywhere near it. I suddenly had this feeling of being severely unwelcome and that I should get away as far from it as possible. So I went to my family and did not look back at it. Thinking about it now still gives me the same sort of, I don't know, twisted wrong feeling. And lastly, another user by the username of Case9 posted this. I found the staircase while walking through foliage so thick, I did not see it until it was almost underfoot. The stairs were made of loose cobble and moist earth like they were work of masonry once long ago. I climbed the stairs thoughtlessly, half expecting there to be a landing to greet me at the top. There wasn't though. Just another crumbly step and an unimpressive view. Something caught my eye as I craned my head. The bushes were packed tight, except where the stumps of dead trees formed sunken wells around them, and from one of the craters, someone was looking at me. I remember clearly their dark, lean face, their round eyes black. No sooner had I seen the face than it disappeared again, only then did I have the foresight to take off down the steps and back through the bushes and bramble. And these are from just a small handful of all the people who are pouring in with their own stairs in the woods stories from all over the internet. 
One strange phenomenon that ties this all together is that people claim to all experience one thing together, and that's missing time. Now, before you start screaming at me through the screen that it's just creepypasta and that this phenomenon couldn't possibly have existed before this post, check this out. A person driving Interstate 40 in East Asheville spotted something that piqued her interest. A mysterious stairway in the woods. And Frank, are there really stairs in the woods? This video posted Two months before the original Creepypasta series was released details a park ranger addressing the stairs in the woods mystery. But her claim is that it's just a part of the trail system and nothing to fear. Now, I don't know if the stairs she was referring to were the same stairs that the woman claimed to have saw when she drove by, but the point here is that there was already intrigue over the whole stairs in the woods phenomenon before the famous Reddit story. But what I find interesting is there's actually supposed cases of this kind of thing happening all the way back in the last 100 years, give or take. And here are some of the most common stories and urban legends that pop up. The first, in the dense jungles of the Philippines, an experienced ranger named Torkik was often tasked with searching for missing people. Now, it was during one of these routine patrols that he stumbled upon something truly remarkable. Torkik claimed that he had found two staircases that led deep into the forest. The first staircase was made of stone and had decorative carvings on it, while the second staircase looked like it was put together with natural stones found in the area. Curious and wanting a better vantage point of the forest ahead, Torkik decided to climb the stairs. And as he did, he did not see any signs of missing backpackers, but he did spot a stray dog that appeared vicious. Wanting to avoid any confrontation, he hurried up the stairs, and unfortunately, he was unsuccessful in finding what he was looking for and eventually returned to civilization. However, upon his return, Torkik was met with both unfortunate and baffling news. Here's the twist. He had been fired from his job as a ranger, and what was even more astonishing was the reason why. From Torkik's perspective, he had only been out on patrol for a number of hours. But the truth was staggering. He had actually been gone for five years. The discovery of the mysterious stairs had brought Torkik into a new world, one where time itself seemed to be distorted. The experience had left him with many unanswered questions and a newfound respect for the power of the unknown. Now, Next, in the 1940s, a man claiming to work for the CDC as an infectious disease specialist had an incredible story to tell. After the infamous Roswell crash, reports of animal mutilations had begun to surface and the CDC naturally was called in to investigate. Now, the investigation was only supposed to last for around one to two weeks, but it ended up lasting for six months. Now, during that time, various people working in the field reported seeing strange stares that they recalled emitted a strange frequency. They decided to set up their campsite about 30 meters away from the stairs and spent the night hoping to learn more about them. However, when they woke up, these stairs had moved, leaving behind a dark black spot on the ground where they had been. These stairs reappeared two days later, and this time 50 meters away from the original location. Investigators decided to take some readings and sample part of the staircase, but they soon realized that the wood structure was harder than steel and could not be chipped off for sampling. Despite their best efforts, the investigators couldn't figure out why the stairs emitted a frequency at all or who or what was receiving it. Now, six days later, the stairs just vanished without a trace, leaving the investigators completely clueless. Now, in Sweden, two Swedish students named Axel and Isaac set out on a long hike through the woods. They had been walking for hours and were miles away from civilization when they stumbled upon something that stopped them in their tracks. In a clearing, far away from any other signs of life, stood a mysterious staircase. Axel was immediately unnerved and wanted nothing to do with the stairs, but Isaac was far more curious and daring. 
Despite Axel's protest, Isaac climbed to the top of the stairs. However, the moment he reached the top, the two friends heard a blood-curdling scream echoing through the forest, sending chills down their spines. Without hesitation, they turned and ran as fast as they could, their hearts pounding with fear. After running for what felt like an eternity, they finally stopped to catch their breath. That's when Axel felt a cold hand on his shoulder. He turned around, fully expecting to see Isaac, but to his horror, Isaac was standing far behind him, much too far to have touched him. He couldn't explain what had just happened, but he knew that something was not right about the mysterious staircases in the woods. The cold touch and the blood-curdling scream would haunt him for years to come, and he would not forget that eerie experience that he felt in that clearing. And lastly, this particular set of stories also popped up on Reddit. It's that a park ranger was showing the ropes to a newer recruit when he decided to share his own unsettling experience. Now, he told the young ranger about a time when he and a colleague stumbled upon a lone staircase in the woods. Something about it just seemed out of place, but the man was curious and decided to climb to the top. When he reached out to grab a tree branch, he suddenly felt an intense pain and realized that his hand had been cut off. There was no clear explanation for what had happened, but the wound was a clean cut and he was bleeding heavily. Now, strangely, they couldn't find the severed hand anywhere. In another story, a ranger recounted a time when he came across a woman climbing a similar staircase in the forest. The woman was complaining about not feeling well before suddenly collapsing and passing away. Authorities would later discover that she had suffered a fatal aneurysm. The eerie circumstances surrounding the stairs only added to the mystery of what was happening in these isolated parts of the woods. But here's the thing, guys. Is there any truth at all to the stories and urban legends I just read to you? I mean, sure, they're entertaining, but there doesn't seem to be any sort of real verifiable documentation or proof that these accounts actually happened hence why they've been considered urban legends. As a matter of fact, these stories didn't even appear or surface on the web until the last seven or so years. Many believe that these all started surfacing once the original fictional series had been posted. I mean, it's possible that these might just be playing off the sensationalized momentum given off by that series. Now, on a separate note, there are actual documented staircases in the woods that seemingly lead nowhere. Take a look. Long before the era of modern civilization, in the city of Virtarbo, Italy, stood the mysterious Etruscan Pyramid of Bomarzo. The pyramid was a colossal megalith of stone, and at its top stood a small platform accessible by a set of stairs. The structure was believed to have been constructed in the 7th century or possibly even earlier. Its significance remained shrouded in mystery. Now, according to scholars, the Etruscan people who built the pyramid used to perform sky-based divinations and ritualistic sacrifices of both animals and people. Many believe that these stairs that led to the top were used in their religious occult practices, either as a divination tower or as an altar. To this day, the true purpose of these stairs remains a mystery. A mysterious 2,000-foot-long staircase stood abandoned on Phnom Kulin Mountain. Locals called it Plissier. Experts have dated the structure back to sometime between the 9th and 13th century. But nobody knows who built it or why. Some experts speculate that the staircase may have been served as a pathway to an ancient hidden Cambodian city, which is now buried by the jungle. Others think that quarries on this mountain, which were used for the construction of Angkor's temple, may have been the reason for its construction. Perhaps the king at the time had the staircase built for workers to acquire building supplies in the 12th century. Regardless of its purpose, the entire thing is very strange. And in Chesterfield, New Hampshire, there was a set of stairs in the woods that earned a legendary reputation. People were curious about the staircase and many stories began to circulate about it. However, there was a story behind it. 
and it all began during the 1920s when a Parisian music hall singer, Madame Antoinette Sherry, built her castle in the woods of Chesterfield to serve as a summer retreat. Madame Sherry's castle was not a typical one. It was a rustic French chateau with a stunning stone staircase complete with Roman arches that led to the second floor. Now, Madame Sherry was known to hold lavish parties, and rumors spread about the scandalous things that went on there. Some even speculated that she supplemented her income by operating as a real Madame, doing business with many beautiful ladies. However, Things did not end well for Madame. She fell into poverty and eventually abandoned it. In 1962, the castle burned down, leaving only the stairs and part of the foundation behind. Today, the staircase still stands in the woods and people continue to be fascinated by Madame Sherry's story and the legacy of her grand chateau. As a matter of fact, I only spoke about three known staircases when there are, are actually way more. Finding ruined staircases in the forest around the world are far more common than you might think. Dilapidated structures in remote areas can leave behind remnants such as stairs, even when the rest of the structure has crumbled or been removed. For example, when a building in a remote location is abandoned, the structure may be left to deteriorate for a number of years, if not decades. And during that time, weather and other environmental factors can cause the building to crumble, leaving behind only the sturdier elements, such as metal railings, brick or stone walls, and of course, concrete. The stairs themselves might be made of durable materials like stone or concrete, which can withstand the elements for longer periods. When the remaining elements of the building are removed or fall apart, and the stairs remain in place, it looks out of place and mysterious in an otherwise natural setting of the forest. Now, additionally, sometimes the stairs are built in remote locations as part of a trail or structure that has since been removed or fallen apart, further contributing to the mystery of their presence in the middle of nowhere. It seems they are simply relics of a bygone era that time has long forgotten. This, I think, is a much more practical explanation to the mystery. For those who cling to the concept that these stairs are truly supernatural in origin, these mysterious stairs hold a dark and ominous presence. One theory is that they are used in satanic rituals, opening portals with blood sacrifices to another realm. Many claim who come across these that there is a dark, strange energy emanating from them. An article by The Mirror in the UK brings the attention of TikToker Jesse V, who covers many topics on the strange, dark, and mysterious, had this to say. In her TikTok, she goes into detail about why you should never approach these stairs and how they could be extremely dangerous. She also covers the multiple theories on them and how or why they came to be. While her TikTok is at least interesting to watch, if we look closer at Jessie's TikTok, it appears that she primarily covers urban legends, creepypastas, and other mostly fictitious, frightening things, further adding that these are just her personal notes on the subject. Something to note that I thought was interesting was famed missing 411 author David Politis even tweeted that he thinks the whole stairs in the wood mystery is a complete and utter farce. Again, that's not to say there aren't structural remnants of old buildings that have long since rotted away to time and that all that remains are the stairs. He's strictly referring to the supernatural aspect of it all and claiming that all these accounts added are just sensationalized creepypasta. Now, on that note, he does have a very valid point. Why is it that the old historical stair structures are documented, photographed, and known about? But somehow, these bizarre staircases found have very little documentation or pictures taken, especially in conjunction with these supernatural user accounts that are attached to them. Even the photo that's been circulating around the internet to circumvent those thinking this is the infamous staircase everybody is talking about, it's actually a modern day art sculpture. In fact, it's located here right in Colford, UK, one of Britain's oldest and largest woodlands. This place seems to be filled with all sorts of interesting lifelike sculptures and modern day art pieces featuring our favorite one of all, the mysterious staircase that leads nowhere. So where does that leave us? Well, here's my verdict. 
I think the whole thing is a hoax. There are indeed structural remnants left over from old buildings of the past that have now been given a new life in the last decade, thanks to Reddit user Search and Rescue and her amazing seven-part fictional horror story, which is very well written, by the way. I think that with the explosion of that particular story series and all the hype that's now built up around it, it's almost become a part of or ingrained in the creepypasta culture, very much like Slenderman. I think if there were more truth to this, there would be more documented cases and specifically in years past, not just recently. I mean, like Politis said, GPS coordinates perhaps? Something more wholesome than what we have right now on the internet. With something that could prove to be so terrifying if real, having only gained popularity from a massively known horror fiction, it's hard to accept this urban legend as truth. Could I be wrong? Absolutely. If it's all just a hoax, then we have nothing to worry about, and the truly terrifying element of the woods stays in the realm of creepypasta. But if it is true, I'm going to stay far away, and I suggest you do the same. More importantly, I want to know what you guys think. Do you agree with my assessment that the stairs in the woods phenomenon is a hoax? Or do you firmly stand by that it is actually a real mystery going on right now? Please, I would love to know what you think. Leave your comments down below. I want to hear from you. Also, if you guys enjoy storytelling of the mysterious and supernatural, be sure to go ahead and smack that like and subscribe button for more content just like this. I love you all. Keep an open mind, and I'll see you guys in the very next video.